Masahiro Tanaka is one of the greatest pitchers in MPB history. You don't need fancy stats or analytics to recognize that his peak is a contender for the best ever. Culminating in a perfect 24-0 campaign in 2013 to lead his Rakuten Eagles to their first Japan Series championship in franchise history. From 2007 to 2013, Tanaka won a Rookie of the Year award, an MVP award, a strikeout title, two ERA titles, and two Sawamura awards, accomplishing pretty much everything he possibly could in Japan before signing what is still the largest contract ever for a Japanese player in MLB at seven years, $155 million with the New York Yankees. Shohei Otani and Yoshinobu Yamamoto will surely break this record this offseason, but that contract was no joke. Tanaka was the ninth highest paid player in MLB in 2014, and he was worth every penny, starting his career with an 11-1 record and a sub-2 ERA in his first 14 career starts. He ended up getting hurt, so he only finished fifth in the American League Rookie of the Year that season, but Tanaka's MLB career was off to a great start. He had some ups and downs after that, but he played out his seven-year deal with a 3.74 ERA and 17.3 baseball reference war, not to mention some great playoff performances. The numbers may not really jump out at you, but considering that he pitched through the juiced ball era and maintained a career ERA plus of 114, Tanaka's time as a Yankee should be considered a relative success. He left New York after the 2020 season, citing anti-Asian racism towards his family as one of his reasons, and returned home to Tohoku for the 2021 season. This caught some people by surprise, but he was becoming the highest paid player in MPB history at the time, and it seemed like he had some good years still left in him, so the decision made sense. He put up some solid numbers in 2021 and 2022, but he had a losing record in both years and he certainly wasn't anywhere near his prime. Still, Tanaka accepted a pay cut and re-signed with the Eagles for the 2023 season, hoping to rekindle some of his previous glory. But unfortunately, this season has been a disaster so far. He's last in MPB among qualified pitchers in many statistics like ERA, opponent batting average, and hard hit percentage, and he's way towards the bottom in things like FIP and home run rate. In his most recent start against the Oryx Buffaloes at Tokyo Dome, Tanaka gave up 5 runs before recording a single out, and finished the night with 11 hits and 8 earned runs allowed across 4 innings. Now that's not quite as bad as his infamous 2019 start in London, but it was definitely one of the worst performances I've ever seen from him. And remember, MPB is in a dead ball era right now, so his struggles look even worse. Tanaka sometimes talks about his outings on his YouTube channel, but his frequency of uploads has significantly gone down in 2023, and I don't blame him. It's painful to watch him woefully talk about his failures, especially when you know that he's still giving his best effort out there. Brandon too had a great article last month discussing Tanaka's downfall. I'll leave a link in the description below, but to summarize it, Tanaka's stuff just isn't what it used to be. His velocity is below average now, but he's still throwing in the zone a lot, so it's getting knocked around. Brandon recommends that he pitch backwards and throw more sliders and splitters to basically embrace the crafty finesse pitcher archetype because his command is still pretty good when he's on. At this point, Tanaka is 34 years old, but he's rapidly declining and needs to reinvent himself. Across all levels, including postseasons and international competitions, Tanaka is approaching 3,000 career innings. That kind of mileage on the arm takes a toll on anyone, but it would be sad to see a legend go down like this. It's an uphill battle for sure, but I really hope he can turn the clock back a little and have some success going forward. He did actually get named to the All-Star team this month, which is a little bit weird, but it is what it is. Special thanks to my patrons, as always, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more MPB content in English.